with the jerry curly edges um they don't look like jerry curly edges right now because i did end up um flat ironing them out and you know doing it i did end up straightening them out because when i washed it they did go back straight so if you do not want them to go back straight make sure that you do not wash your wig first do not bleach your wig or wash your wig or you're gonna have to go back in <laughs> and use these to kind of fix it up and stuff like that so i kind of did messy edges still to kind of still fit the theme of the look because i wasn't going for perfection with this i was going for more of a messy hair baby hair lay you know just something real cute and just quick so yeah if you like what you see already make sure you go ahead and give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and without further ado let's get right into the video to bleach the wig but this is the wig before it's bleached super curly and the edges are curly and stuff like that yeah so yeah that's before i bleach it this is how the knots look still very transparent but i gotta go bleach it so that i don't have black knots so let's go do that Okay, baby, so we're gonna do like, we're gonna do a walkthrough video, like step by step. I'm gonna talk to you guys and let y'all know everything. So here's our wig from Eunice Hair. Um, it's already washed. I washed it. I had to bleach the knots. It is transparent lace. The edges are the jerry curly edges. However, like I said, I bleached it and I washed it. So yeah, that's why I showed you guys how it looks as soon as it comes to you, like is really really curly and no you don't have to bleach your knots if you don't want to however i like to bleach my knots and y'all this ball cap is given i don't know what <laughs> but so first what you want to do of course is put your ball cap on so normally if i'm gluing my if i was to glue my wig down i would have put this cap over my edges and i would have like you know made it real seamless and stuff but honestly i'm not gluing it down so yeah, I'm gonna take my Ruby Kisses and this is the number 09. And then I'm going to take the lighter, no darker shade. I'm gonna take the darker shade and I'm gonna just put it right here. So just so it's like, I know we got our ball cap on, but I don't want this line too crazy. So this is my method when I wanna do a quick wig and saw and i don't feel like going down my cab i don't feel like going down my wig i just want to use some melting spray so i'll just use the ruby kisses and then i'll go in with my face powder so this is a little trick i forgot who taught me this but you take your face powder of your makeup and you literally just put it like in your hairline like that so this just kind of camouflages it in a way like I don't know because you know your hair is so dark well if you have your hair dark like this yeah you just want to camouflage it just a little bit like it don't have to be too drastic because you it's not a ball cap like the front of your hair is not a ball cap so you're gonna see it but just a little illusion illusion okay so now we're about to go ahead and put our wig on and we're not going to leave it in this wet state because this is one of their um top products right now and they want me to show you guys in their dry state so I'm going to show you guys this is how it looks wet it's really really pretty i am more of like a wet look girl but hey we gotta do what we gotta do so we can do both with this um we can do the wet look and we can do the dry look and it still look good so what i'm gonna do is go ahead and put this on so it comes with the elastic band in the middle so it's comfortable you know you're not able to just like you know it's like a little bit more snug on your head like it's just it's just more comfortable like it feels like it's more secure then it has the comb for the back piece and then 
combs inside, but we don't really use those too much, so that's not really needed. So let's just go ahead and throw on our wig. So you just want to make sure your wig is comfortable so go ahead and fit it on and you know all that so it's fitting pretty good i like that i'm happy about that because y'all know <laughs> i got a big head or whatever so it fits pretty pretty good so this hair is transparent so if you can see your cap push it back some just push it back yeah just push it back so you don't see it or whatever so that's all i had to do um so now we're gonna go ahead and start cutting off our ear tabs because we don't need that that's not comfortable that um the lace flapping over your ear and all that stuff like that's just not comfortable so we're gonna um cut that off real quick give me one second i need to get my hair okay baby so now let me scoot up a little bit so y'all can see so we're gonna just take your little clippy clip Get you some a couple clips out and stuff because you're gonna need it. So we're just gonna cut this flap. Cause that's just not needed right there. That's just not. See, that's more like it, you know? You know, that's more like it. Alright. Now we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Alright, y'all. So now, like I told y'all, make sure you get your clips, you know. Because yeah, they're gonna come in handy. So now I got my hair up like this. And like I said, I do not want to glue my hair down. So what we gonna do is break this in the middle. Well, not break it, but you know, cut it in the center. Make sure you don't cut it too close to the actual hair because you don't want to cut the lace like through the lace. Just a little snip snip. So you're able to like tug it this way and tug it that way, you know. It just makes it easier to maneuver. So, today, honestly, y'all, the way I'm looking at my hairline, no, we're not doing that. All right. So, we're going to pull this back like this. Like that, like that, like that. So, we're going to pull that back. And because my hair is so, my um cap so far back, pull it up, pull it up just a little bit. Hold on. Yeah, like that. That's cool. All right, y'all. So now we're going to do, we make sure our wig is fitted on each side. Like it's, you know, what is it? Parallel? We could say parallel, I guess. All right. So now what we're going to do is take out our handy dandy elastic band because that's important. You're going to need that to like really melt your lace down. All right, y'all. So I got this. I got these little small elastic bands from Amazon, but they also got some from Walmart. I got some bigger ones from Walmart. But anywho, <laughs> that's besides the point. Um, Let's go ahead and get into it. So and just make sure they push back with some gel or something. I had already used some, so I'm not going to put no more on. So now what I'm going to be using is my REJ Cosmetics um, Melted Spray. So what you want to do is spray along the hairline and then blow dry it on cool. And I'm going to do it three times. So just to get it real tacky and then I'm going to lay my lace on top. And then y'all going to see what I do from there. So take your melting spray. Make sure you shop below. I will have the link in the description box to get your melting spray. So you don't always have to glue your wigs down. Like, no. Nobody got time for that all the time. <laughs> all right, baby. So let's go ahead and get into it. So y'all forgot to tell y'all start on one section because with the melting spray it's easier to like move around and stuff so you want to just take it section by section so it's just easier to work with y'all gonna see what i'm saying like glue is a little bit more tackier so you're able to just kind of like lay it all at one time without having to blow dry it real quick and all that jazz but with the melting spray, it's just real loose. Like it's a, it's basically like a holding spray in a way. So you kind of want to just take it section by section. 
All right, we're gonna do the um next time. All right, baby, so now it's time to go ahead and lay our lace down. Make sure you pull this part up too so you can make it easier to put your elastic band on. So we're just gonna start right here. Make sure you press it in. And like I said, you wanna take one section at a time. And if you need more spray, you can always spray it. If you don't, that's good too. Don't worry about my ear folding. It's still comfortable. <laughs> Sometimes it be doing that. So don't worry about that part. But just press the lace inside of the melting spray like that. Okay, so you want to make sure you lay that side first, hold the ear tab so it doesn't move too much, and then you're going to take the other side and literally just fit it onto your head the same exact way. Okay, so your lace should be real snug. Now what you want to do is, um, I'm going to just cut off the excess lace, and then we're going to spray a little bit more melting spray at the top. just to make sure it's real secure so like we're gonna spray a little bit more right here where i didn't get none we're gonna spray right there see all of this is pretty much laid except for like the little bitty the little bitty stragglies in the front so what we're gonna do is we when i cut this off like i'm gonna respray it so that way you know we can lay it even more okay so um, our melting spray pretty much did what it had to do. Just a little stragglies in the front. So what we'll do for that is give it a little spray. Make sure your band is pretty snug. Okay, so our Holy Girl Melting Spray. Y'all, my ear is crazy right now. Hold on. My beauty is pain, so it's going to have to probably be on my ear for a little bit, but that's fine. So make sure you blow dry on cool. Okay, babies, we're going to do kind of like a flip over method. Like, it's not going to be a part. I want it to just look kind of on the natural state, you know? So let's just fluff it out a little bit, get it not so much of like a wet look. Like All right, y'all. So I think the look, it'll kind of get frizzy on its own, you know, do its thing. I don't want it. I want my curls to still look a little defined. So honestly, this is actually pretty cute but that's not the look we're going for <laughs> so we're gonna just play with it and if you wanted to do a middle part you could do a middle part if you want to do a side part do a side part me i've been really feeling the side parts lately so we're gonna go for sure for sure with the flip to the side like that so this is cute so really i'm just waiting because I need to make sure that my lace is dried because we're going to do, oh, I just put myself in the eye. We're going to do like curly edges. Like they're not going to be super, super sleek right now. I'm going to show you guys two ways to do your edges with this look because you can just do it like this, like a flip over method and then have your curly natural edges looking, you know, like have natural curly looking edges. Or you can do the other method where you curl them and then actually lay them and still have your hair like this. So I'm going to show you both ways. So that way you can pick and choose which one you want to do. <laughs> All right, babies. So I'm just making sure that my lace is pretty much dry.
Hey y'all, I really think I'm good. So let's just put myself in a chokehold, <laughs> a headlock, whatever you wanna call it. And make sure that this lace is pressed in with our melting spray. And y'all, the fun fact about this is that you can be cute all day, but at night, you literally, all you need is either my glue remover to release the wig or some water or alcohol to release it. And you can go to bed real peacefully. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna take this off. Oh, it's looking real natural. Yes, that's what we going for. Yes, yes, yes. Super, super natural. However, some of the melting spray did get on my forehead. And if it gets on your forehead, all you need is some alcohol to get it off. So don't worry, guys. A little alcohol takes that away. Okay. So yeah, it's really, really cute though. Like, that's all we need to do. And y'all, I did not tint my lace. Like, I did not tint my actual lace on my head it's transparent lace so i just kind of let it do its stuck uh, fizzle you test it out on yourself to see how it looks without it um you know like being tinted and then you just go from there like i didn't really need to do that so i just didn't so now on to my favorite part which is the baby hairs if you want to do a no baby hair look of course be my guest like you can have so much fun with this hairstyle. You can do side part, middle part, whatever you want to do. Today, we're going to do side, as you can see. So, let's just go ahead and flick these edges. Um, they're already, like, the natural-looking edges. But we're going to have a little bit more fun. And we're going to, like, curl them up and, you know, just do some fun stuff. So, just bear with me while we figure this out if you have any excess glue just get it off with some alcohol okay so we got some edges here 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 Alright, booze. So let's go ahead and trim our edges down. So we're gonna just trim them a little bit. And y'all be careful because when I say I'm always cutting myself, like cutting myself, burning my forehead, all of that for the perfect slay, like all the time. I got marks all over my forehead from hot combing. Cutting my cutting my um forehead with the freaking razor on accident, y'all. Just be careful, okay? So yeah, we just doing that and getting them nice. Okay. So guys, my, from what I'm thinking while doing this hairstyle, if you want those actual jerry curly edges, then don't, don't bleach the wig. Like don't bleach it and don't wash it. Okay. Because if you wash it and bleach it, they're going to just turn back straight like this. So just don't, just don't. However, because I ain't know that we just don't have to work with it. But the texture of this hair still gives it like a natural look. So like even when I'm swooping, it still gives it like such a natural look. So you guys are literally going to see how I lay these with some mousse. Like I'm not even going to do the most. I'm going to lay them so gently um, with some mousse. So just curl them back if you do want to bleach it. Which I can't not bleach my hair. I have to. Or the knots will just look too weird. So. Alright y'all. So now I'm going to go ahead and take some mousse. And I'm going to just put it on a comb like that. And we just literally go. Just go real gentle. Like real real gentle. And just swoop them. I might have to make these a little bit smaller. Because I just 
just like that front piece to be just, you know, like short baby hair, not too long right here in the front. Okay, y'all, so with the baby hairs, you got to just play with it. Like, you got to really just play with it until you get the perfect look. All right, booze. So, now what we're going to do is I might wet the front just a little bit. Like, just a little bit. I really do love the look like this, though. Like, it just gives natural, like... I'm gonna leave it here. I don't want to do too much to it. Like, I like it messy. I like it fluffy. So, yeah. We're gonna leave it like this. I was gonna show you guys both baby hairs, but I already showed y'all how the um, Jerry Curly baby hairs looked in the beginning of the video. And you can honestly leave it like that. Like I said, you don't have to bleach it and everything like that because when you bleach it, it will get a little bit straight like it honestly will so so it will get straight so you just want to be careful there if you if you want the um if you want the jerry curly look just tint the lace with like some ruby kisses or like your facial foundation or something so yeah y'all this is the final look this hair is from unique hair i have collaborated with them for so many collaborations y'all y'all could check the receipts in my videos deliver every single time um but yeah i hope you guys give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel i love you guys and i can't wait to see you in the next video